Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are trying some US Easter goodies today. Yeah, we might be a little bit late, but just these goodies look so good, we have to still they give do. them a go. They really, really do. And just because Easter's over and done with, why would we not still enjoy these items? Exactly. This is actually from Lindsay, who has oh. sent us a box before. So, hello, Kate and Alex. Hope you're both doing well. I've been wanting to send you another box for quite some time, and I'm not sure how it's already been two and a half years since the first box. God, Child, that has flown by. I can't believe that either. Time's just flown. But to be honest, the last two years are a bit of a blur and sometimes I feel like it's still 2020 and not 2022 already. I'm glad it, um, it's not just us who feels like um, two years just I know. <laughs> it really does feel like an absolute blur, doesn't mm. it? I really appreciate that you kept doing videos as they were a nice distraction and some much needed wholesome family content. Well, to be honest with you, there wasn't a lot else to do, was there? Yeah, no. Exactly. Well, I guess we could have watched more Netflix. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we always could have. But yeah, thank you for watching, um, guys, throughout COVID. Yeah, and you know, supporting. Yeah. And supporting means us. means a lot. And, you know, for buying our candy box as well, yeah. it really meant a lot. I subscribed to your candy box for about a year and really enjoy getting to try treats from Britain. Yeah, and if you don't know, we have a subscription box and you can check it out down below. That's amazing you subscribe for a year. Thank yeah. you so much. One of the more surprising favourites for me was the Skipped Prawn Cocktail. Not a flavour I thought I'd like, but really enjoyed them. Unsurprisingly, I enjoyed almost all the chocolate. I have zero self-control and would eat the whole box in a day or two. Literally would hide the box from my kids and husband. No way. <laughs> <Love> <laughs> they that. didn't even get a look in. The box we sent is a variety of new and Easter treats. To be honest, most of the stuff we haven't actually had, so I'll be interested to see what you think. My kids wanted to include their favourite candy, but you've already had them before, so we included a newer version of them instead. Yes, Lindsay has actually sent us some brand new American treats, so we are going to be doing those in a separate video, which is really awesome. So if you want to see that video, make sure you subscribe. Yeah. Hope you enjoy and have a happy Easter. Lindsay, Adam, Chase, Chase and, and Peyton. Peyton. Thank you, guys. They're great names. Or... Yeah, really great names. Lindsay, thank you so much. I know you're trying to not eat as much chocolate at the moment, but we are going to be sending you a box back to say thank you for this amazing box. Um, if anyone else would like to try some British treats, we will leave a link to our website down below. Yeah, and that's a great way for you guys to support the channel, just like Lindsay who ordered boxes from us and as uh, she said, she loved them. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, right, shall we crack in? Let's do it. What shall we start with, Al? I kind of want to try this s'mores bunny. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Now we've had Palmer items before, and I feel like we've even had a Palmer bunny before, but we've never seen this one, have we? And we've we? had a Palmer violet. <laughs> totally different, but yes. Now, Wasn't the Palmer bunny we had before flat, not 3D? Oh, I thought it was 3D. Oh, maybe it was. It was cookies and cream, wasn't it? Uh, Are you thinking about s'mores. the Russell Stover bunnies? I think I'm probably thinking about the Russell yeah. Stover. Lindsay says, Palmer small bunny, also new for this Easter season. Let us know down below if any of you got this this Easter. Palmer chocolate is known as a cheaper chocolate, but they're also known for doing seasonal slash novelty chocolate. So you really only see it around the holidays. He's cute. The headquarters is located in Reading, Pennsylvania, which is about 30 minutes from where we live. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I think when I look at this? Do you all think it's like a box for a Barbie or something? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> I feel like the way you guys in America showcase Package some things, of your yeah. things is really, like, look how, like, jumpy I, out that is I as was a trying kid. To, I, I was trying that. to work it out because we do get these kind of, like, 3D Easter yeah. treats. But I was trying to work out what's so different about it. But it is. It's in a Barbie box, isn't it? And I feel it? like it's like an advert, yeah. is it? And I feel like it's less about the bunny in the middle because the bunny's quite tiny. Look yeah. how big the box is. It's just and, more about all yeah, the... Yeah, and look behind. Our favourite fireside flavour. If I was a child, I'd be absolutely wanting this. Yeah. Palmer know exactly their audience, don't they? They do. <laughs> Hollow milk chocolate with mini marshmallows and gram bits mixed in. This yeah. is awesome. Let's crack it open. It's a little bit of his ear poking <laughs> out through a hole. Just in case you wanted it, a little nibble. Yeah, and then it says, oh. are you ready for a small, delicious treat? And then what does that say? I like to eat the ears first. <laughs> but that's cannibalism, isn't it? That's a bunny trying to eat yeah, a bunny. Yeah, that's a bunny eating yeah. itself. That's, that's a bit weird, isn't that's it? That's messed up. God, the Here packaging go. that goes into this. Yeah. <laughs> it's even got like Here a backdrop, and that's tiny. Look, at, look how big it is for that. It's got a whole stand. And that's why I think it looks like a, a And is doll. there anything in the bottom? No, I don't is think so. Is that where so. you get your cram crackers? No, that's it. It's in there. That's it. Aren't they just wrapping in tinfoil? Oh no, they don't like tinfoil, do they? No. Oh, you've, you've broken the backdrop. I know. Any good? Let us know down below what you got for Easter this year. 
It smells good. Mm. Considering Lindsay said it's like a cheap chocolate, I can see what she means, but it's not as bad as I kind of thought it was going to be. I can totally taste what she means. It definitely is a cheaper chocolate. It's quite but sweet, isn't it? like with the cookies and cream, I think what makes this not as bad is because there's bits of something yeah. else in it. It's not just all chocolate. And nice the cookies and cream had cookies in it. It was like white chocolate. So... I would say that was one of my favourite Palmer items we've had. Yeah. Because we've had some other ones that are just generic milk chocolate and they haven't been that good. But the mix of the graham cracker. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> your aggressive sniffs. Is that because you're trying to breathe through I'm your sniffing. nose now? You're like, you're like, talk a talk a talk. Talk a talk a talk. I can't notice that. <laughs> <laughs> and then... <laughs> Maybe I am. <laughs> I am a bit bummed at the moment. Yeah, you see, Matt. So... Yeah. I'm trying to breathe and <laughs> chat at the same time. You're having to like stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> I have to watch that back because I don't feel like I am. I actually think it's quite enjoyable. As you say, the chocolate mix with the biscuit actually makes it makes better. it better. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's fun, isn't it? And also, I'm pretty sure these are more aimed at kids anyway. Mm. So kids really don't care about chocolate. So I think it's perfect for Easter. Wouldn't that be amazing on like an Easter hunt as well? Yeah. And I wonder what the Palmer's price point is like. Yeah. Because it's all very well saying, oh, it's not very good chocolate. But then if a Ghirardelli one is twice the price. Yeah, then, it makes sense. Like yeah. if that is cheap, well, then you can't be arguing yeah. with that. So I, I really, I enjoyed that more than I thought yeah. I was going to. Okay, right. Can we try this bunny bait? Yes. I've never seen this before and it's awesome but we have had a trail mix haven't yeah, we yeah we've had a few yeah so this is by the brand favorite day who we've never heard of never heard of bunny bait trail mix with honey roasted peanuts white chocolate covered pretzel balls milk chocolate candies confetti cookie pieces white chocolate covered raisins and marshmallows made with m&m's pastel milk chocolate candies it's not funny that there's actually m&m's yeah. in there the brand and branded ones enjoy every bite for sweet crunch sprinkle trail mix over the top of ice cream do you want to see and this is your kind of trail mix because you don't like it when it's real when it's trail too, mix yeah. Yeah. with nuts and this seeds. This is their bunny bait. This is much better because there is some nuts in here, but it's not like all nuts yeah. and seeds. Yeah. Bunny bait is a trail mix that Target brings out every Easter. Oh, and it's I love Target. It. Oh, is it Target we've had a trail mix from before? Maybe. Or was it um, Trader Joe's or someone like I that? I can't remember. Granted, I think trail mix is supposed to be healthy and this is absolutely not, but I can eat every piece where normally I pick out my favourite pieces and I'm left with a bunch of gross raisins. <laughs> yeah, that's like me, Lindsay, absolutely. I think this is so awesome. I love the colour with the awesome little patterns on, like yeah. the ladybug and the egg. And how cute is this for if you have young kids to leave out a little trail mix for like the use of money? Really Wouldn't cool, that be yeah. fun? I might leave some out and see if this guy takes the bait. <laughs> Ooh. It smells more nutty. It smells nutty. It's M and M's, but what flavour M and M's is it? Oh, we used to have a bunny called Flopsy. Oh uh, yeah, sweet little guy. These look awesome. Yeah, it's amazing how nutty it smells, but there's only peanuts, aren't there? I think so. And they look really well coated. They're yeah, they look really good. I absolutely love the look of this confetti. Whoa, the flavour is zoom. Oh, is it snap? Is it? these big balls are they raisins oh no that's a nut white yeah. chocolate covered raisin oh that's what that is and marshmallows mm. Mm. oh and, and this is a like pretzel. a pretzel wow so is that oh the pretzel is really good that's one of my favorite pretzels i've had i think mm. Mm. and the nuts are nice being honey that's lovely isn't it you know they're honey roasted mm. are they also a bit salty yeah. or is that something else because i'm getting salt on every bit and i love it oh my word that's yum best trail mix Mm. I could just keep eating that. I That's could keep really eating good. that. That is 10 out of 10. Absolutely delicious. Unfortunately, they probably don't have that in the shops anymore, but keep an eye out because Lindsay does say they bring it out every year yeah. or something like it. Definitely 10 out of 10. I think oh. what makes it really good is the saltiness. The saltiness the is amazing because mm. it gets on everything. And yeah. I think that's what's so nice about that trail mix is it like all combines together. I feel like I'm maturing because I would happily go for a bag of that pick a mix. Then like a bag of sweet pick a mix. Shall we go for peeps? Yes. I'm really looking I was forward wanting to a peep. peeps. Oh, you were. Where my poops at? Both are new flavors, neither of which we've tried. The tropical burst can only be found at Target and were really hard to find. So hopefully that means they're really Ooh. good. Mm. Well, thank you. 
thank you for giving them to, my, to us because yeah. you haven't tried them. When I originally saw these, because obviously I hadn't read the full letter, I thought we had tried these, but we tried Tropical no. Punch or something, didn't this we? Is brand new and flavor. they were like red. Yeah. Do you remember those? And you got us a big pack of both of these. And these are the Peeps Sparkly Wild Berry Flavoured, which you might have seen our video. We actually had an American Easter candy box for the first time this year, yeah. which is amazing. Yeah, and there might even be some of them left, possibly by yeah. the time this video goes out. So it's worth checking. Definitely check out the website. We'll leave a link down below. Okay, what do you want to start with? I reckon the Tropical Burst. Yeah, considering these are both new, I'm wondering if they weren't necessarily new for Easter, they're just new. Because I was thinking, how do they decide what's a bunny and what's a duck? But this, I've just realised, it's like a unicorn Easter. bunny, yeah. isn't it? Whereas these are the traditional just, peeps. Yeah. What is it, a duck or something? I think it's a duck. Or is it a chick? Oh, a chick. Let mm. us know, do you prefer the bunnies and the limited edition ones like the Frankenstein, or do you prefer more of a chick? Ooh. Oh, wow, these smell, smell incredible. That. Wow. And look how soft and squishy they are. I feel like we haven't had a peep in, in forever. Ages. Oh, that's Ooh. really Ooh. soft. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. I think that's one of the softest peeps we've ever yeah, had. That's really good flavour. What's nice is that for a moment I thought, was it really cherry y? And it is quite cherry at some point, but then once you get going, it's more just tropical. Mm. Oh my word. That's got a really lovely light fruity flavor, I'm hasn't it? You for later. Don't you think? Lovely and light and fruity that goes perfectly well with the soft the squidgy pillowy. pillowiness, yeah. That was absolutely incredible. No and wonder how nice is the sugar on the outside? Yeah, just like a little bit of crunchy crisp. Like it's really thin sugar, isn't mm. it? I think that's what makes these so good compared to just having a marshmallow. Yeah. Is that coating. That, that crust. Mm. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. Mm. And I feel like every time we have peep, we always ask who prefers it stale or fresh. I actually think there's more people who prefer it stale. Yeah, the same. So if you're fresh, you got to you know, let us know You've because go stale people it. are winning. Now we have tried these because they're in our American box, but you guys haven't seen us try them yet. So in we go, Al. Oh, just smell that. Smell it. And we've got a row. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing bunnies. <laughs> just look Ooh. at the back. They've put so much in, haven't they? Sparkly wild berry flavor. Flavor smells so good. So good. Do you it's know what's different to these? What? Is that not only have they got a sugar crumb, there's like flakes of a different type of sugar. Yeah. It almost gives it a bit of a sour tang. Do you not think every time it hits your tongue yeah. and it gives it a bit more flavor. Do you know what this is reminding me of? What? Petit Falou, like the forest fruit ones. Cause look, if you look here, it is actually not oh, just raspberry. Mean, it's yeah. like raspberry, blueberry, blackberry. What I like about both of these is they're both really delicate like light fruity flavors, aren't they? And mm. like you say, this has like salty pops in it. Mm. That's really nice. Yeah, it's like, you know, it's not popping candy, but the texture of popping candy in a way, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit like candy. -y. It almost like melts in your mouth, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Isn't it funny? These are firmer than the chicks. And I wonder if that's why that felt really soft yeah. because we've had more of the limited edition shape. Mm. So I wonder if the chicks are softer. But then funny, this kind of melts in your mouth more. I know, I don't yeah. Know why, but oh, they're amazing. They're really I'm, I think I'm going to give these a 10 out of 10. Yeah. I think they're 10 out of 10 as well. We've had some really great peeps. Mm. But um, I think these are some of the top ones because we had like the watermelon, we had the cotton candy ones and stuff yeah. like that. But I think the fruity ones have been our favorites, haven't they? Definitely, yeah. We've got a brand new pack that has obviously never been out before. These are the Kellogg's Fruit Loops jelly beans. What? It's funny seeing Kellogg's do a like a sweet. Yeah. We've got Kellogg's Fruit Loops. We've got the classic Skittles jelly beans. Um, the first time we tried these, Stacey Howell sent them to us and I am just in absolute heaven when I have these. These We've had these before, haven't we? I'm pretty sure these are exactly the yeah, same, but we'll give them a try. These are literally the best jelly beans ever. And I feel like so many of you guys also love just the classic Skittles. We have got Welch's jelly beans. I've never seen this before, and that is so exciting because we love Welch's, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we love the flavors, don't All we? the flavors are amazing. Grape, strawberry, white grape, peach, raspberry, and orange. I'm so excited for those. And then, 
Another, I think it's new for me, but it might not be new for you guys. Sour Patch Kids watermelon jelly beans. That is so cool. You love watermelon, now. I love the Sour Patch I'm interested to know like how sour they're gonna be. Sour-ish. Right, what shall we start with I think now? we start with Fruit Loops. I think so. Now, are these just going to taste like the cereal, or because it's a jelly, do you think it will be better? They're just like the cereal, I think. It needs to smell it like smells... a lemony sherbet. No blue. What flavour did you have? Red. I mean, colour. And Red. what was it? Which is like the fruit loop fruit flavour. <laughs> is it like a liquid or something? <laughs> and they just pour it over whatever form they're doing. Kit Kat, chocolate, cereal. I guess because we didn't grow up with it, but to us, the fruit loop flavour is just so, so weird, bizarre. isn't it? It really is like a cleaning product. Yeah. Why is it so lemony? I don't know. Lemon is just one fruit, isn't it? But that's all I can taste. It's so bizarre, isn't it? That is really bizarre. I'm not a fan. Are no, you? No. Am I. <laughs> Let us know down below. Number one, if you're a fan, and if you are a fan, are you actually a fan of the cereal as well? Because I yeah. feel like if you like the cereal, you'll like this. I'm probably giving these a four. I give them a five. <laughs> <laughs> I would give them a zero, but what is that TikTok? I'm Don't surprised you've not. I would give them a zero, but that is impossible, so I'll give them a one. Have you not come across no. that one yet? <laughs> right, Sour Patch Kids Watermelon. I think Watermelon and the Strawberry Sour Patch Kids are the best ones. Yes, yeah. and these, uh, I love the colours on these. I love the colours too. I'm guessing they're both just mm. watermelon. Oh, so tart and lovely, isn't it? Mmm, that is delicious. It's a really good sour though. Mm. It's not like too tart. Do you prefer that form or the watermelon shape with sugar? I think the watermelon shape. Right. These are good though. Yeah. I like the way you kind of break through the shell. I know it's, it's kind a of really chewy. thick mm. shell, isn't yeah. it? I think I might go jelly bean. Really? Yeah. I really enjoy the jelly watermelons, but I don't know, it's something about the really thick shell, and I think that's why I like the Skittles so much. Oh, what are you giving those, Al? I'm gonna give them a nine out of 10. They're really good. I think I'll give them a nine out of 10 as well. They're absolutely delicious. Delicious. Do we do Skittles first or Welch's? Yeah, Skittles, Skittles. and Skittles. end with Welch's. Let's hope they're good then. If you've tried all of these, put them in order. Oh, I love these so much. Lindsay says, jelly beans. Easter is about the only time you can find jelly beans except for the Jelly Belly brand, which is around year round. We included several bags, most of which I think are new. The Sour Patch Watermelon ones are the only ones I've seen before and the only ones we've tried. The Fruit Loop ones were too interesting to pass up and hopefully taste okay. I also saw that Brock's did a taco truck variety. Oh, interesting. But I couldn't bring myself to send them. There's no way a bee taco jelly bean tastes good. No, I think you're right. Yeah, no chance that's good. These are all different shapes this time. That grape is just like... Really good. I wouldn't normally think I like grape. Mm, I'm pretty sure it's the Skittles that I love, the orange one. I think I prefer Skittles jelly beans to Skittles. They're just softer, aren't they? It's a much nicer experience. Do you know what I've just realised? What? I don't know if I realised this last time. The Skittles red is strawberry. Yeah. Not right. cherry. Oh my Why word. Why is it usually? I thought in America the red was a cherry. Oh, that orange is nice. Yeah. It's like Mandarin. Mmm. Mmm, on my word. Again, it reminds me of that little rubbery fish we used to get from Thornton's. Thornton's. So good. <laughs> R.I.P. Please bring it back. <laughs> I wonder why they never do that again. Oh my word. That strawberry Skittle jelly bean is the best thing I've ever tried. That strawberry is just like our flavour strawberry here in the UK. But I didn't think you got strawberry jelly um, Skittles. Maybe I was just assuming, Cherry. but I always thought it was strawberry. But I'm going to do strawberry and grape in one go. Oh, that is a big jelly bean. It's a big jelly bean bad boy. Mm. And a lot of you guys always say you miss lime flavours. Well, the green in here is lime. These are literally more like our flavours, but apart from grape, ours is black currant. Maybe that's Ooh, the difference. Black currant, yeah. Is our purple that grape is black is nice. currant. Would I prefer the black currant? I think I'd prefer the black currant. Well, we've got two grapes in here, Al. Oh yeah, we've got white, white grape, grape and Concord. Made with apple juice concentrate. It's funny the different like sizes of bags as well, isn't it? I kind of want to try Ooh. one of everything because we haven't had these before. I love before. the colours on these. Yeah, also, exactly. look how Amazing. shiny they are. They are really shiny. Cheers, I've never tried white grape, Pete. Mm. They're firmer, like more of a... It's much more like a well. They've done a jelly bean but they've made it almost like a Welch's. Mm. These mm. don't really look like jelly beans. Look, these are more just like little pebbles, aren't yeah. they, in a way? What are you going next, Concord Grape? 
Mm. Really the outside the quite um feels quite sugary though, doesn't mm. it? These are probably my least favourite outside. But fantastic. The flavours flavor, are amazing. Yeah. That is nice. Yeah, inside's got a different texture to everything else. Mm. It's not, but you know how like when you have a gelatin sweet and then a gelatin mm. free sweet? It almost has that texture. I'm orange. going orange. Mmm. That's oh, the best so far. Of these? Mm-hmm. Mm, well, I think the first one. Really like that. Really? Mm. I think you like that. And then strawberry. Mm, that's not strawberry. That tastes like something we've had. What, sherbet? It tastes like strawberry, does it? Mm -mm. It's like sherbet. Might have one more of these because that's fantastic. That strawberry tastes just like something we've had. I don't know whether it's a jam I've had before or if it was like a fruity sweet somewhere else. I wish I could find out. Do you know what? I was really, 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 really looking forward to these. And yeah. the flavours are really nice, but they're not my favourite. Really? Out of these four? Yeah. Which are you going to go for then? I think I might go for my classic Skittles number one, Sour Patch Watermelon number two, Welch's number three, and the Jelly Bean Fruit Loops number four. I'm really congested. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going? I... <laughs> <laughs> what are you what going? Are you going? Um, I think I'm going to have to go Watermelon Sour Patch, right. Skittles, Welch's, then Fruity Loops. Right. Fruit Loops. <laughs> Fruity Loops. <laughs> Fruity Loops. By the sound of that, I thought you were going to put Welch's really high just then. Well, I do think they're really good. They are good, but I don't know if any of you found it, but the shell was really shell. Like, there was a lot of shell. But I quite like that when it's, like, hard and then it's, like, soft. Yeah. No, but it wasn't even hard. It's just like a lot of like the shell. It tastes yeah, quite oh, okay, sugary. So, Do you know yeah. what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to work out what that flavour is I've had before, but I can't think of it. It just literally tasted, you know, when you're a kid and you get that long plastic thing for the shell. Yes, shower, maybe that feels oh. like when you just cut the top off and you go. Yeah, that could be it. Like I thought you me. were talking about, you know, that long rope and you would peel it off and you got the white bit in the middle. And you got like no the red bit round. And sometimes they had uh, you get two and you had feet on the end. And like oh a, a, yes, a of the shell bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, we have Reese's Pieces Eggs, which um, Lindsay didn't actually send these to us, no. but we had some of these from our American Easter box, so we want to try them for you guys. Yeah, and I mean, I don't think you can have an Easter box without doing some kind of Reese's. No. And these are like the equivalent of Reese's mini eggs, Reese's Pieces Eggs. Yeah. Right, should we pop this open? Yep. And I love the way it comes in like a little a milk carton almost. Ooh, colours on them. So Smell these her. are like giant pieces in a way oh yeah in a way because what i like about the pieces is i love the candy coating because i'm i'm not massive on peanut butter so it works well that you get a lot of candy coating whereas this would probably work better for people who want more peanut butter Do you know what you've made me think is the peanut butter m &Ms. M ms is this going to be like a massive peanut butter m m i hope so Got i'm loving the colors yeah really there's like a green in there as well look how cute that is cheers cheers That's good. It's not too much peanut butter. It's kind of everything I hope. I knew you'd like those. It's like a big peanut butter M&M. Yeah, because that's bigger than a peanut butter yeah. M&M, isn't it? Lots of lovely peanut butter in the middle with a crunchy candy shell. I wouldn't say it was as salty as a peanut butter cup, which is quite nice yeah. actually, because the cups are really salty actually, aren't they? Oh, they're delicious. Really delicious. I oh, know, I can't believe it's over I already. Know, we've come to the end, but we will be having more of Lindsay's delicious box in videos to come, won't we? Yeah. So if you want to stick around for that, click subscribe so you can check it out. Yeah, a five, five six, six, seven, seven eight. eight. <laughs> Did you think I forgot? Treat of the week. Tricky one, tricky, tricky, tricky one, but... I, I knew you forgot! I think there's a clear winner. Clear winner! It's this bunny bait. Bunny bait. This is just so good. Absolutely. Better than a bunny boiler. The thing is, I really enjoyed the peeps, and I really did enjoy the jelly mm. beans, but this doesn't come around that often, does no. it? Like these trail mixes. And for one to not be all nuts and f and dried fruits yeah. was really like refreshing. And I think it's a really perfect mix. 10 out of 10, yeah, well done Target. Mm. I can't wait to just be back in America again, just know, wandering just around the Target. Picking up snacks as you go. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> anyway, we want to say a big thank you to Lindsay and Adam. Chase and Peyton. That box was absolutely amazing and we still have more to try, which is really exciting. We will be sending them a box of British treats back to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try some, we'll 
will leave a link down below. Yeah, and you can subscribe to our subscription box like Lindsay did and get boxes sent to you every month. Exactly. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. See ya. Thank you.